these five chapters that I'm going to share, like I said, I um, picked up this idea of the five classes from Mary Michelle, but this vibrational scale and working up it from a framework of your worthiness and your internal worthiness, that's how I see this and how I practice this in my business. So that very bottom level of that emotional scale, when we talk about shoppers, is that desperate shopper, right? So these five shoppers that I'm going to share, like I said, I, um... Hello, lady. Welcome back to the Style for Life podcast. It's your girl, Katie, here with a brand new episode. I'm super excited for today's episode. It's actually inspired by another stylist and another podcaster that I think has really good, amazing content, but has a completely different audience and a completely different energy. And this message is so powerful. I just want to share it with you guys in my own unique way. So today we are going to talk all about what kind of shopper are you? And the reason I want to lean into this and the reason I was really attracted to this episode is it correlates not just the kind of shopper you are, but really your beliefs around it. And if you know me, That's what I really love about this style thing, right? It's all our beliefs. 80% of styling is the thoughts and our beliefs that you believe are facts inside your mind. And 20% of it are the clothes that you wear currently, right? It's really about unpacking all the things that we believe. And then we can start to shift that around. But if you're like most of us, right? We really are not living or dressing to our fullest expression because of the beliefs that are bombarding our minds all day, every day. So I'm super excited for today's episode. I am excited for every episode. So I hope you walk away feeling inspired. I hope you take some um, away some really good nuggets. That's my intention behind this is to share that. And if it resonates, the best way that you can support the podcast is to share this with a friend. So you can just text your home girl and be like, hey, you should listen to my friend Katie's podcast because it's amazing. And if you're feeling extra generous, you could always share on Insta and tag me. And if you're extra, extra generous because tis the season, leave a review. I'd be so grateful. Speaking of the season... I have a big old juicy fucking giveaway for you. So if you follow me on social on Friday, I announced a giveaway that I am doing with one of my biz besties. She's just been on the podcast. Um, one of my clients, one of my friends, Amber Frohn, House of Amber um, Dawn Wellness, my nutritional therapy practitioner, right? So I'm so excited to be partnering with her. We're doing a giveaway and it's our epic shit giveaway. It's our favorite things. And we named it the epic shit kit because I was like, I want it to just be like, this is it. These are my favorite things. I've been talking a lot on the podcast. You guys know the energy that I'm on right now is living the juiciest, epic, quantum version of your life. So when Amber was like, hey, we should do a giveaway this December um, to just like pay it forward, right? Like let's gift someone some amazing shit, some of our favorite things. And I was like, yes. And we were like, I just don't want it to be just like basic. And I am so tired of basic. And I was like, well, it's epic. And I was like, it's epic shit. Like all this is shit that I love. Like We both put in products that we love, and we're both gifting 45-minute consult sessions. So when I say that Amber's like a client, a friend, and a biz bestie, she's my nutritional therapy practitioner. Like, I just signed on to work with her for a whole nother year. She's no fucking joke. And I mean it, and not that she's like a drill sergeant, no joke. She is exactly... Like the vision that I really want to create of what epic means for you and like what quantum means for you and exactly how I try to approach my business too is you tell me what your goals and your desires are and I'm going to help you hit them with the knowledge that I possess. But it's co-creating with you and what you want. 
So I've used a lot of these words recently, epic and juicy and quantum. So in preparation for cultivating that energy, you have to enter our giveaway so you can get a few of our favorite things, which compile our epic shit kit (laughs) giveaway. It's 45 minute consult with each of us. So you get a one-on-one with me, a one-on-one with her. Um, of course, you know, I threw in some lipstick. So if you watch the stories um, on Instagram, it's a really fun, beautiful um, red color for this season. So one of my favorite lipsticks that I've been rocking, um, I have a make big things happen journal notebook that I've been using to capture all my big ideas. And Amber threw in greens powder that she loves that I swear by. I so wear by them. Um Side note, like they help so much with my cycle health and my physical health, like love them. So if you don't have an amazing greens routine, that's part of the kit and affirmation cards. So it's all the favorite things, right? It's mental, it's physical, it's emotional, all of it. It's the full fucking patch package because it takes all of those things to do epic shit, no matter what epic shit is, like your definition of epic shit. So go into the giveaway to get all those things. katiejuststyle.com backslash giveaway. Yes, we're both promoting it on our websites. You do not have to register on both websites to be entered to win. Just register on one website. You are entered to win. Mine are hers. You're listening to the podcast. So of course, I'm linking it to mine and you will be entered to win. If you share it on social, you will get an extra entry and then we are going to pull a live winner pull a winner live this Friday on IG and we will let you know. But of course we will send you an email to let you know that you are the winner. And like, I kind of want to win it myself. I mean, outside of the consult with myself, like, can I keep the lipstick and the journal and the greens? And can I get the free session with Amber? Like, oh my God, it's going to be amazing. And this is just setting you up for the energy that I know that we are bringing in 2023. Me and some of my other friends are pre-paving 2023 to be the best year yet. So with all that being said, let's talk about what kind of shopper you are. So like I said, today's podcast content is really inspired by another stylist that runs a podcast. She, I don't tune in all the time, but when I do, I really get a ton of knowledge from her podcast. But she definitely targets a different audience. She definitely targets a slightly older audience. And some of her content's amazing. And like I said, I really, really wanted to share it here. So, of course, I've taken some of the ideas here. And obviously, they're filtered through my own experience, uh, myself, my friends and clients and everyone that I know. And then just some of the things I've learned along the way of how we've all grown from one phase to the next phase. Because I kind of see the what kind of shopper as an evolution. And this is where my filter comes in on this. I kind of see it as like an evolution of your vibrational scale. So anyone that's listening that doesn't know what that is, like your vibrational scale is go Google it for one, but it's in the front of my planner that I use, the Law of Attraction planner, right? It's like you're constantly vibrating at a certain level. And then like we can do little things every day to work our way up the vibrational scale. Yes, I have connected this back to shopping and style. You know, that's my jam because to me, this shit is deeper than an ocean, right? Yes, I know some people think shopping and being styled is surface level, but it's not, okay? We can go as deep as you want to go. So at that very bottom level of that emotional scale, when we talk about shoppers, is that desperate shopper, right? So these five shoppers that I'm going to share, like I said, I um, picked up this idea of the five classes from Mary Michelle, but this vibrational scale and working up it from a framework of your worthiness and your internal worthiness, that's how I see this and how I practice this in my business. So level one, like your lowest vibration when it comes to shopping is the desperate shopper, right? So this is the person who doesn't feel on the inside that they're worthy of prioritizing their time, their money, 
or their energy to shop for themselves, right? I see this, and we've all been here. This is why I called it a vibrational shopping scale. We move up and down this scale constantly. And the goal, obviously, is to be at the top of it, right? The goal is to be happy, joyful, abundant, right? But sometimes we're down in the low vibrations. We're down in the low shopping scale. And we don't feel worthy in the moment, time, whatever. Maybe it's a season of life. I know I've been here. I feel like a lot of us hit this point right after we have kids. I did that whole episode on style after motherhood. I think in that phase, when our body changes, we all become desperate shoppers. And now that's a very absolute blanket statement. But that's where I feel like I see this the most. That's where I've experienced it personally is we're not prioritizing shopping time or money that we're not worth it. We don't have the energy. We don't want to invest in ourselves. Why would I spend money on myself? All those things. And then what really happens when we're shopping out of desperation is that our outfits are never quite right, right? We have a bunch of things that don't work, a bunch of things that don't feel good, and just a bunch of things just are not aligned with who we are as people, right? To me, when I think of this, oh, so many points in my life that are relatable, this is me when I'm in survival mode, right? Like this is base level bottom barrel survival mode is when we're desperate shopping. I have experienced this. I have experienced this recently. And so uh, when I, this podcast um, where these five buckets came from is actually a podcast from 2021, maybe even older, but I had recently had an experience that I haven't talked about because it's really fucking bothered me where I think I, not I think, I took on the desperate shopper identity in a moment and didn't prioritize getting dressed for an event and it fucking showed. Now, everyone at the event would have said, oh, you looks great. I did not put the time, energy, and effort into my outfit. It was not me. I just, I just did not feel like my highest, highest self. And it really bothered me and it rubbed me the wrong way. And I was like, why do we keep letting ourselves get to certain levels? And then we start blocking, right? So when I see the desperate shopper energy as the worthiness, right? The worthiness shows up where we're like, I'm not worthy of the time. I'm not worthy of the energy. I'm not worthy of receiving the things I need to be received. And in this particular instance, I don't think for whatever reason, my worthiness um, radar was a little off that day and I wasn't open to receiving, right? And I share that story because it's a fucking lifelong journey, right? Like no one's perfect. I do this for a living. One, it's way more Uh, easy to give advice (laughs) than to take your own advice. We all know. But I wanted to share that is like, we can move within all of these. And the goal is to just like always get to the top. All right. So number one, bottom of the vibrational scale is desperate shopper. So now we move up to level two. Now we're the deals shopper. I think we've probably all been here too, right? This is the deal shopper where You might feel like you're worthy of spending the time, but you're not worthy of paying full price. Now, we can all say we all love a good deal, right? Like, I'm not saying that we don't all love a good deal, but the deal shopper is the person who's really shopping for quantity over quality. And in my experience, that's usually where we're shopping to feel what other people think of us. A lot of people say to me, why would I get dressed when no one can see me? I'm like, because you're not getting dressed for other people. You're getting dressed for yourself, right? First and foremost, get dressed for yourself so that you feel good all day long because you deserve that energy all day long. And I think this is where that deals shopper can come in where we think we're supposed to get dressed for other people. So we want to constantly buy things to impress, quote unquote, other people or to show up for other people and not for ourselves. So I think we're subconsciously sending ourselves the message of that we're not worthy of paying full price. And then that, here I'm going to blow your mind with this one. I've been doing a lot of deep work on subconscious and the stories that I truly deeply believe and how they're stopping me from hitting the goals I have in my life. So if we're constantly deal shopping and we're telling ourselves we're not worthy of paying full price, where else is that showing up in your life? Are you not worthy of asking for the raise? Are you not worthy of asking for what you're worth in your business? Are you not worthy of raising your prices? What is that? And I think for women, the money conversation is a really 
big core wound. I know it is for me. It is for a lot of my friends. It's really hard to talk about money. And it's really hard to be like, oh, I'm worth this. Like as nurturers by nature for most of us and that identify with that energy, we want to give. So you should charge what you're worth, get paid what you're worth, and you can still provide amazing, I don't want to say over deliver, but service the shit out of your people, right? So level two deals shopper, right? We're shopping quantity over quality. We never have a full outfit. We buy a lot of separates. And this is how you know if you're the deal shopper, you have a lot of one hit wonders, right? You're like, I have this one outfit, it's amazing, and that's all I got. (laughs) Like, I don't know how to recreate it. I don't know how I got it. It's the one-hit wonders. So if you have a lot of one-hit wonders, then chances are you're the deals shopper. You have, like, no foundation pieces. You can't, you don't really have a capsule wardrobe. Again, you just have, like, these one-off outfits that feel amazing, but you're also like, I can't wear these all the time, right? You have some gaps that we need to fill. So we have Desperate Shopper, we have the Deals Shopper, and now we're entering into the middle space, which is the Casual Shopper. So this is where I say that I like my comfort zone is, and probably a lot of us too here. Anywhere between the Deals Shopper and the Casual Shopper, I would say is where a lot of us just can naturally land. So the Casual Shopper is, I deserve to look good, let's shop. Uh, Let's shop to just shop. I think here is where those of us that shop to, as one of my friends says, buffer my feelings. This is when we're the casual shopper, right? Like we're not intentionally building a wardrobe. We're just buying things to buy them. We hope that they'll flow with the outfits that we have or we have it in our mind. Then we buy it and it never looks as good as we think it's going to look. So We continue to build our one-hit wonders. Now we have a really decent one-hit wonder collection, but we still don't have a foundational wardrobe. We're constantly churning and burning, constant consumption, and we never really feel like we're truly in tune with ourself, right? So we do believe that we deserve to look good, but we're just shopping just to shop. So... Those are some of the differences, right? Now, the next level shopper, so shopper number four, we've gone from desperate shopper who doesn't feel like they're worthy of investing the time, money, or energy to the deals shopper that's interested in investing the time, maybe the energy, but definitely not the money. And then the casual shopper who's interested in investing the time and the money but isn't really there for the full experience, right? Doesn't really believe that it gets any better than this. There's a little bit of buffering happening here. So then our next step up, our vibrational shopping scale to the holy grail is the get shit done shopper. If this is you, I want to know. I have been this person before in my life, and this is where I see people swing from desperate shopper to the get shit done shopper. So the desperate shopper who has not invested the time, money, and energy. And then all of a sudden is like, you know what? Fuck that. I am fucking worth it. I'm feeling good. They're fired up. They've been around their squad. They've been meditating, hydrating, and drinking their juice. And they're like, you know what? I am ready to go. I'm worth it. They're not afraid to invest all of the monies but they're not really ready to invest fully in the time and energy, right? So the get shit done shopper goes and drops thousands of dollars on everything at one time and will only do that every couple of years, right? So like, say we go shopping, and this is a really bad example. We go shopping in 2020 and we spend $5,000 on clothes and we're not gonna buy clothes again. Well, Pretend it's not 2020, but it's 2023. And then we're not going to buy clothes again until 2025, right? That's the get shit done shopper. But what happens here is you lose your mojo because now you're wearing the same things on repeat over and over and over. And this is how you get stuck in your style rut, right? This is like, and 
Again, I'm not knocking anyone. I love my routines. You guys know I'm a hardcore type A creative. I love a plan. Love to follow all those things. But this is where we get stuck in the daily ruts. This is where we're eating the eggs and the avocado toast every single day for breakfast for the next five years. And like sometimes we just need a little variety to keep things spicy. We need to freshen it up, refresh it just a bit. Then level number five. So we have our desperate shopper. Our deals shopper. Imagine it like a pyramid. We have our casual shopper. And then on top of that energy is our get shit done shopper. And sitting on the top of this, the holy grail, the eye of the pyramid is our style strategist, our strategic shopper, right? This is the woman who's fully embodied fully knows that she's worth the money, the time, and the effort, right? She's not afraid to invest. And more importantly, not just money, I mean time, all of it. More importantly, she lets herself evolve with her wardrobe, right? So the reason we don't want to be the get shit done shopper and spend $5,000 every couple of years is you change so much, year to year. You are learning new things every day, right? So first, we're going to build a really strong foundation. And then we're constantly evolving and refreshing with the seasons, right? We don't have to go out and like break the bank. We're just constantly refreshing and evolving with the seasons to keep our wardrobe feeling good, feeling like us, keeping it fresh, modern, up to date with yourself. So I use those words and I don't mean that we're necessarily like, oh, we have to shop on trend, but this is how you get to really use your style as a strategy and like as a performance hack to feel amazing in your life is when you become that style strategist, that strategic shopper who has a really strong foundation Yes, we're all going to shop just to shop. We all make impulse buys for sure. But we're really attaching this and attacking this with like a real strategy, right? Like every time the seasons change, we're investing a couple of new pieces to freshen up our wardrobe. We're taking a really strategic look at our closets and we're saying, okay, for those of us, especially I live on the East Coast, we have four very distinct seasons. Oh, I don't want to say I live in Virginia. So I don't know if it's four very distinct seasons, but we'll go with it. Right. So like every season when the weather changes, we all have those moments when you're like, what the fuck was I wearing last winter? (laughs) Was I naked? Because none of my clothes like fit or they look like trash. Like, what was I doing? That's how you can start to identify what kind of shopper you are, right? So the strategic shopper is like, ooh, look at these. I forgot that I had these. Or, oh, these look great, but they're getting a little worn out. It's time to update this pair of jeans or it's time to update this pair of shoes. And part of being the strategic stylist shopper is you know your brands. You know your body type. So we're not restarting every single season with like, oh my gosh, I don't know where to go. I hate shopping. This is so overwhelming. This is why every time the seasons roll around and I'm like, what the fuck was I wearing last year? Because you didn't put the time, energy, and effort into it the season before. And chances are you were playing the game that I love to play. I'll do it next year, right? And then what I find is that if we're doing that with our clothes, we're doing that in other areas of our life as well, right? If you get to the seasonal wardrobe refresh and you're not being the strategic shopper who's constantly in tune with herself, then chances are it's not just your clothes. It could be your goals that you wanted to do with your family. It could be what you where you wanted your career or your business, your relationships, your money, your health, your wealth, your spirituality, your emotions, like whatever. We all have different goals, right? Because how we do one thing is how we do everything. And that is why I love to think of this shopper, these five shopping buckets as the emotional vibrational scale. And like, we're just constantly trying to move up it because we're all going to fit into some of them at some point. Life is just not that black and white, but I love to use that as an analogy of I get to refresh and evolve with every season. And then for those of us that do live in seasonal us environments where the season changes often 
it gives you something to really look forward to. So you have to DM me or email me and let me know what kind of shopper are you? Which one do you strongly identify with most of the time? And have you experienced any of the other shopping identities? And how are you getting to the holy grail? How are you becoming the style strategist? How are you making getting dressed easy? How are you creating your outfit formula that you're just updating from season to season? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had such a good time thinking about this and how it connects back to who we are and how we show up in our lives. And don't forget to share it with a friend if it really resonated with you. Share it with me. Let me know what resonated with you. Don't forget to sign up for this fucking epic shit giveaway. katiejuststyled.com backslash giveaway. As always, everything's going to be in the show notes. Get your lipstick, your affirmation cards, your make things happen journal, your greens powder, your nutritional consult, your style consult, and get to work. And for all of my um, boss babes, my business owners, in 2023, I am going to start offering um, brand style audits. So style audits based on your brand and how you're showing up in your marketing and if it correlates with your mission and your message and how we can continue to drive those core values of your brand into your style. So when you show up, you feel completely in tune. So if any of my boss babes win the giveaway, you can use your 45 minute consult to do a brand style audit. So go sign up, katiejuststyled.com backslash giveaway. Everything's in the show notes, and I will see you ladies on the flip side.